At Degwalich Wellness Center, we are proud to offer those with opioid use disorder the option of making medication-assisted treatment a part of their treatment plan. Here, we offer two different types of medication that help decrease cravings for people with opioid use disorder. These are methadone and buprenorphine. We also offer naltrexone, a medication that can help prevent relapse through blocking the effects of opioids and alcohol. We make sure that MAT benefits the individual and community by providing a structured program plan. Part of that plan involves following the federal guidelines for our carry policy. People do not get what are called carries until they can show by consistency that they've achieved stability with not just their medication, but their approach to changing their life outside of the medication. We support patients' efforts to utilize medication-assisted treatment in a beneficial way through a number of means. Initially, dosing daily under medical supervision for the first 60 days if they're utilizing buprenorphine and the first 90 days if they're using methadone. After 60 days for buprenorphine or 90 days for methadone, negative urine drug screens, no behavior issues, no new law enforcement contacts, they're allowed uh, another phase in treatment where they can take home an extra dose of medication. It's structured in a way so that they go from one provider to another and they go from medication to an individual session, either mental health or chemical dependency and or primary care. The monitoring of their progress is a significant part of what we do. All members of the team engage together to communicate about what's happening with the clients. Also part of the responsibility of the clients is following through with three treatment classes. The three classes that we offer uh, for our clients are Methadone 101, which talks about the risks and benefits of the medication. The Lockbox class, which discusses how to safely uh, take care of your medication and how to keep it away from children. And Program Orientation, which goes over the expectations at DGUAL each and what the federal guidelines are for carrying medication outside of the clinic. We provide medication lockboxes to our clients to ensure that they're safely storing their medication at home and that children and other people in the home don't have access to their medication. The lockbox mechanism helps to assure that there is little or no diversion because when people come back in after their period of their self-carries, they uh, more often than not are also given a UA to determine what's present in their system. So we can determine if they've actually taken their own medication and that it has not been diverted and gotten out onto the street. The recommendations I have for other programs in learning about carry policies and implementing policies within their own clinic are to become more familiar with the federal guidelines, um, learning more about diversion and accidental overdoses.